Good evening, and welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Conway, Arkansas. We're glad that you could join us this evening. We invite you to join us every evening, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. for evening prayer, and Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. for Compline. We are especially grateful to Cody Blackman, who has taken on the Tuesday Compline service. If you'd like to be involved in any of these services or to help us out with readings on Sundays, just reach out to Greg or me, and we'll get you signed up to do that. We invite you to join us on Sundays at 11 a.m. on our Facebook Live for our virtual Eucharist. Um, we are meeting still in live person at 9 a.m. in the courtyard on Sundays. Um, we have a small group that's attending that service. Uh, we have some pretty strict guidelines. If you'd like more information or to sign up to attend that, just reach out to one of us or the church office. That will get started. Daily evening prayer, right two, begins on page 115 in the Book of Common Prayer. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that, that we have, have sinned, sinned against, against you in thought, word, word and, and deed by what we have done and by what we have, and by what we have left undone. undone. We, we have, have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have, have not, not loved our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are truly sorry and we humbly repent. repent. For, For the sake of your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to and the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in the Fos Hilaron at the top of page 118. O gracious light, pure the brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, heaven. O, o Jesus Christ, Christ holy and blessed, now, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our, our eyes behold, behold the vesper light. We, we sing, sing your praises, praises O God, God, Father, Father Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. You are worthy, worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, voices. O, o Son, Son of God, God O, o giver, giver of life, and, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm appointed this evening is Psalm 107, part one, found on page 746 of the Book of Common Prayer. 746. Let's read it in unison. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his, his mercy, mercy endures, endures forever. forever. Let, Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes. They found no way to a city where they might dwell. They were hungry and thirsty. Their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them from their distress. He put their feet on a straight path to go to a city where they might dwell. Let, Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness and deep gloom, bound fast in misery and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God 
and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he humbled their spirits with hard labor. He stumbled, and there was none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them out of darkness and deep gloom and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. For he shatters the doors of bronze and breaks in two the iron bars. Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because of their sins. They abhorred all manner of food and drew near to death's door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them, and saved them from the grave. They let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships and plied their trade in deep waters. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke, and a stormy wind arose, which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their hearts melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper and quieted the waves of the sea. Then were they glad because of the calm, and he brought them to the harbor they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise, and praise him in the council of the elders. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The reading tonight is from Luke 6, chapter or verse 20 through 27, 26. This is a reading from Luke. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what the, their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you that, when all speak well of you, for that is when their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes from your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Continue with the Song of Simeon, found on page 120 in the Book of Common Prayer, together. Lord, you now, now have, have set, set your, your servant, servant free, free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continue with Suffrages B on page 122. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat, we entreat you, you, O Lord. Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat, we entreat you, you, O Lord. Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We, we entreat, entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We, we entreat, entreat you, O Lord. Lord that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We, we entreat, entreat you, O Lord. Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Peter and of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat, we entreat you, you, O Lord. Lord. The collect of the day for Proper 21 is found on page 234. I'm sorry, proper 20. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A collect for Fridays is found on page 123. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. amen. This time I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings, silently or aloud. We pray especially for Lee, for Kewl and family, for Angie and Chauncey, for all those struggling against the coronavirus, for teachers and students and administrators and staff, for doctors and nurses, technicians and first responders. Pray for law enforcement officers everywhere. We pray for those striving for justice. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. Please join me in the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Tonight, in closing, I offer a prayer in times of conflict, found on page 824. O God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Take care. Wear your mask. God be with you.